Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Mike comes in with a question about CPU tower coolers and their weight. It is, with a tower cooler on an ATX motherboard, what about weight? Even with a backplate, with all that stuff hanging, you know, off the motherboard, um, he's got, actually, he's got a couple of questions here. And will the upcoming AMD GCPUs due in August require bunches of BIOS updates? So we've got two well, sorts That's of two questions. So we'll answer the first one first. The weight of a tower cooler is a concern if you're moving the tower a lot. If you are putting it in a car and going on a road trip, if you're going to conventions, if you are shipping the computer, if you are constantly carrying it up or downstairs or taking it to a friend's house. If you put a Noctua NHD 15 tower cooler onto a motherboard and just and you just sit the computer in one place and it never moves, it's not an issue. It, it certainly adds weight, but the kind of motherboard that deserves a Noctua well, NHD 15 that's... is a premium built motherboard. And modern premium motherboards tend to be better built than the cheap ones. Uh, many of them have more layers, they're physically thicker, Correct. or they've got a uh, special reinforcement on the back. Some of them have full back plates on the motherboards now. Yeah, exactly. My Z490 Gigabyte Aorus Master, for example, has a complete reinforcing motherboard back plate, and that thing is a tank. Is. In fact, that motherboard weighs more than the tower cooler does. So, <laughs> yeah. Hold my beer. Very much so. Now, would I put that onto a little baby micro ATXL Cheapo 5999 motherboard? No, but you shouldn't. That's ridiculous. That kind of tower cooler, the cooler costs more than the motherboard does. So if you're sized appropriately, that makes sense. Now, if you are traveling with your computer, if you're going to school regularly, if you're putting it in the backseat of your car and you're taking a three hour road trip, if you're shipping it, if you're constantly lugging it up and down stairs, that's a concern. I would go with liquid cooling in that case, if for no other reason, to remove this big mass of metal, which has a reason to shift separately from the rest of the case. Exactly. Because then you just have a tiny little pump on there. That's one of the biggest benefits of the liquid cooling is it gets most of the weight off of your motherboard. And if you're transporting your machine a lot, that makes a lot of sense. Personally, I have an Octua NHD 15 in my personal computer at home. But it just... It sits under the desk. It doesn't move. If it, if it does, then we got to have a conversation with Casper the Friendly Ghost because I didn't do it. So, or you're changing out your computer. <laughs> right, but if you're if you're personally, like let's say you need to upgrade. So you pick your computer up off the floor and you set it on the desk so you can upgrade your RAM or add an SSD. Okay, first, you don't do that very often. Second, you're being careful with it. It's not like you're moving. When you move something every week, you just sort of get, you just pick it up and you go. You just get on with it. When you do it once every two years, no, you, you gently unplug yeah. the cables, you very carefully pick it up, you very carefully set it down. You know, it's, you're more careful when you don't do it very often. Correct. Or you should be. You should be. I was going to say you should be. And so if you're carefully picking it up and you're carefully putting it on the desk and you're carefully upgrading it and you set it back down, you go, oh, beautiful computer, you stayed there for two more years. That's not an issue. As far as just static weight, not a concern. Dynamic weight of moving, that's my concern. Well, that's a good point. Earthquakes. Liquid cooler. <laughs> if, you, if you get an earthquake bad enough, in my opinion, to, to damage a motherboard from the weight of a cooler, that's a, your whole house is yeah, trashed. You're having a worse day than just your PC. Your PC <laughs> is not the problem. Your whole PC probably fell over. It, it's, that's, that's a pretty big earthquake. Uh, city services have failed. Mm -hmm. So, what's the rest of his question? Uh, he also asked about... This is a bonus question. It is. Bonus question for everybody for staying. Um, the upcoming AMD G CPUs, are they the, um... The APUs. A the APUs? Yes. Uh, new CPUs virtually always require a BIOS yeah. update, and well, so... Well, this is a bunch of them, but I mean... A BIOS update. I mean, certainly they will require one. The... Uh, the B550 and the X570 motherboards are fairly stable at this point. They've had tons of updates. They're, they're mature yeah. platforms at this point. They've been out now for, 
Well, the X570 has been out for two years. The B550 has been out exactly. for about one year. They've had a lot of BIOS updates. All they're adding is support for integrated graphics on existing Zen 3 chips, which they already work with. And these aren't like new RDNA 2 integrated graphics that they've got to kind of fuss with. Correct. It's Vega graphics. Yeah. They've had Vega graphics for years. So there's nothing new about this except they're, they're marrying their old Vega graphics with, with their existing Zen 3 chips. I would be shocked if the boards require more than one BIOS update. Someone's not doing their job if that's the case. It's a mature platform. It is. They shouldn't need more than that at this point. Get on that, Bob. I hope. In any case, um... I think that answers that. That answers your question. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.